Hey everybody, welcome back to Grace with Paul Gray. We're taking some time these days to find out if we can really know what God is like. And more importantly, will we be pleased when we find out? Yes, yes, a million times yes. As you come to know the truth about how God relates to us and everyone and what God is really like, you'll be relieved and free and ecstatic. You can handle the truth. Let's start looking at where unconditional love is and how unconditional love relates. Quantum science has now proven that everything vibrates. We are all energy. We and everything, even the earth, is an energy field that vibrates. Quantum has also proven that there is something everywhere. The space in between two houses, or in between two people, or in between you and a mountain. That space appears to the naked eye to be empty. You can't see anything there. For a long time, scientists thought, well, there was emptiness. Like, even in between the proton and the neutron and the electrons in each atom. But there are instruments now that show us there is something there. That something is energy. Now, we know that God is everywhere present, omnipresent, and God is unconditional love. So those with spiritual eyes to see and ears to know that something, capital S, the energy, capital E, that is everywhere present, is divine love, grace. That space, the thing that fills everything, is the grace place. It's unconditional love. It's the Holy Trinity in perpetual motion everywhere and in everything. It's the quantum life. Now think about that. Since God is unconditional love, love without conditions, and grace is God's love in perpetual action, the way that God relates to us and everyone is always in unconditional love. There is no darkness, no evil, no shadow of turning, Nothing bad at all about God, period. God is good. That's really good news. That's truth you and I can handle. A logical question for people who have been lied to by religion would be, but what about God's wrath? God's wrath is in the Bible, you know. Well, yes, I know. The word wrath does appear in English translations, but that's a terrible translation. The New Testament was written in Greek, and the word there is orge, O-R-G-E, which meant at the time, and still does, any violent emotion. We get our English words orgasm and orgy from the Greek word orge. So Bible translators would then need to look at the Greek word orge and pick an emotion in English. They could pick anger, they could pick compassion, they could pick wrath, they could pick love, or others. If you were going to translate orge to describe evil, as in the evil one, you'd probably choose the English words wrath or anger or hate. However, since we know God is love and God is not evil, there's nothing evil at all about God, the violent emotion that God has is unconditional love. God's white-hot, fiery love is God's violent emotion and it surrounds and indwells us all. That truth is good news and we can handle the truth. Sadly, many religious people don't want that to be true. They want God to pour out his wrath on people who don't live up to their standards, who don't believe the same way they do about God, people who haven't done the religious drills they've done. The religious mindset, that religious mindset, believes the lie that those people deserve God's wrath and eternal conscious punishment. Fortunately, God doesn't think that way. God told Moses that he would be gracious to whoever he wanted to be gracious to. 
Jesus told the proud religious leaders who thought only they deserved God's blessings. Jesus said, no, God causes the sun to shine and the rain to fall on everyone, the righteous and the unrighteous. Jesus said God blesses and pours out grace on people who even think they're enemies with God. God does have favorite people, those he favor, favors, those whom he's especially fond of. Look around. Everyone you see, everyone you will ever see, are God's favorites. We're all his children, and he is especially fond of us all. He relates to every single one of us with unconditional love and grace. That's really hard for a lot of us to believe or even contemplate. However, knowing this truth and experiencing it and seeing that it's true of everyone changes your life in an amazing way. That's truth you can handle. See you next time.